I didn't upload a video Wednesday. Okay, forgive me. I know it's only been like two weeks, but <laughs> this is harder than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm really sorry I didn't upload a video on Wednesday, but oh, wow, this chair is creaking. Come on, chick. Okay, let's try this. Mm, whatever. It is what it is. But what I wanted to say was I really think this video is gonna make up for the few days wait. What's up guys, my name is Dion and you are watching Reptiliatus channel. In today's video, we are going to be feeding, rehousing, and taking a look at my collection of scorpions. That's right. So, I hope you guys are gonna enjoy this video. If you like this type of animal and you like learning about them, feel free to subscribe down below and don't forget to ding the notification bell so that you know when the next video is coming out, which, you know, hopefully will actually be next Wednesday. I think I can do it. All right, let's go ahead and do that. All right guys, so I asked you to tell me what you thought that we should feed beautiful Christian Dior. The votes were in. And this is what you chose. We're gonna give her a hornworm that decided to bite me. Stop biting me. Ugh, that feels so messed up. It's really nibbling on me. Okay, little chubster. For her meal today, you all requested it. Here goes. Let's see how she reacts to this. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Sorry, hornworm. Envenomation begins, the animal breaks down. Usually they finish these so fast because they're mostly just muscle and water. It's very soft tissue that dissolves quick and they just drink the fluid very quickly as well. There, see? She's going for a little stroll. All right. All right, guys, so this is my male emperor scorpion. Um, here's his enclosure. It looks pretty simple. It also looks really weird and that's because every time I level things out with a deep substrate He just excavates everything over to one side and likes to hide behind his Little like cork hide setup thing. I don't know whatever if this is what makes him happy fine His water dish is dirty. So we're gonna go ahead and remove that and Refill a fresh clean one here. These are my lovely ceramic glazed water dishes that I purchased from a local dollar store called Dollarama. You really can't go wrong. Dollar store is a exotic animal keeper's best friend, I gotta tell ya. But yeah, there he is. Lovely animal. So let's go ahead and see if we can feed this guy. Alright, so I've got a fairly large sized cricket here. See if he's interested. Looks like I spooked him. For now, we're gonna go ahead and place a water dish here and refill that for him. There we go. Next up is my behemoth of a female. Again, Pandinus imperator. Um, I'm really hoping that this animal is pregnant or gravid. Uh, she just continuously accepts prey items and is just huge as you can see. So hopefully she will be dropping a brood. It'd be really nice if she did. Let's try giving her some food. I don't think she'll disappoint. And of course she'll need her water dish cleaned out as well. Do you want a cricket? Of course you do. You always want food. Oh, she dropped it. Try that again. Yep, that's her for you. Always ready to eat. Always. Poor cricket. I wish it didn't get grabbed from the back end first. Yeah, look at her. That is a beast of a scorpion. Huge. Really, really hope she's grabbing. I did try introducing the male with her a few months ago and she wouldn't have any of it. 
He seemed pretty receptive and she was very aggressive towards him, or at least very defensive to say the least. So hopefully it means no, I'm not interested because I'm already expecting. All right, let's go ahead and switch out her water dish. The animal's all the way over there. I can safely come in here briefly. And even better to safely do it, I could use tongs and reach in. But we're just going in here while she's back there. And carefully placing a water dish in, fresh water for her to drink. Moving the cricket a bit more. Hi guys, so if you follow me on Amino or Instagram, you've seen me show this girl in a few of my clips and videos or stories. This is Big Bertha, my desert hairy scorpion. Let me see if I can gently get her to come back this way so you guys can see her. See, these scorpions are supposed to be so like calm. And this is another reason why people shouldn't handle scorpions. They're supposed to be super relaxed and calm and she is usually quite defensive. Anywho, we are going to be revamping her enclosure today. She loves to dig and this is just not going to cut it. Um, I'm going to be increasing the height of the substrate and doing a bit of a mix that holds its shape better because right now she lives under this cork which is under the sand and then she comes out here to say hi. She is a very nice scorpion if I may say so myself. I love her sassiness. Such a cool animal. So first we're going to gently move the scorpion into a container. I like to use some gentle rubber tip tongs. We're just going to gently grab the animal like so. And there's very little pressure whatsoever. Really nothing. I'm not going to go and do it again for no reason. But there she is, safe and secure. Now we're going to remove this piece of cork. What we want to do with this is we're going to add a bit of soil to this mix as well as some Zumet excavator clay and then we're going to refill it and let her go back in all right guys so here's a bit of my excavator clay that i have left we're just going to go ahead and use a bit of this and then mix a small bit of like soil and then has a bit of sand in there too but just to add a bit of that and that should be good because these guys do like to be able to dig let's mix those up more soil so we're actually gonna move all the sand as much as we can up like this and stick that down like that and the brush comes in and covers everything so that the scorpion can dig its burrow from underneath here and go deep into the substrate, if that makes sense. But that should do really well for her. So let's go ahead and put her in her new enclosure. All right, so here she is. Go ahead, girl. You're all right. Gently does it. There you go. So guys, uh, I do have some really bad news. It's a few months old now, so I'm definitely over it, but like, um, yeah, I've had a few losses in the invert collection lately, and I'll update you on the tarantula losses. But unfortunately, as far as scorpions go, uh, my beloved pinchy boys, as I called them, regrettably all passed away. Um, I had a friend taking care of them while I went away for some time, and I don't know how to put this. I'm just going to do so bluntly, long story short. They sort of dried up. Yeah, they, they were sort of mismanaged and they all dried up and died of dehydration. It was really hard for a while and I was pretty devastated considering that 
as a little group or colony they were some of my favorite scorpions that I owned and I took some time to just kind of enjoy the ones I had but as soon as I felt ready I went to my friends over at the bug guys good friends of mine and purchased four more animals lovely heterometris peter c some more beautiful heterometris species so I got four lovely scorplings now they've been housed individually since I got them I'd like to introduce them to each other and hope that they will get along so what we're gonna do in this video I'm gonna show you the enclosure that they're going in but we're not gonna put them in it in the video what I'm going to do is feed each of them so they're nice and chubby and then move them into it and we can maybe make that its own video or something like that it can be the pinchy boys attempt to so things happen it was a terrible tragedy here are the scorplings. Let's feed them and I'll show you their future enclosure. Okay guys, so I've already lifted the lids to facilitate feeding them and showing you. Uh, but here they are. They're ready for their food. Okay, so this one is not interested in eating. Let's try this one. Okay. Okay. Well, that one was definitely hungry. Enjoy your meal, friend. Okay, well, we'll leave one with him. Oh my god. Welcome to my life. I get to hear this every day now. Wow, we're really not having very much luck with feeding the scorpions today. Okay, no interest there either, but the irony is that all of them will probably be wandering around with the crickets in their mouth in no time. So, whatever they're gonna eat, that's all that matters. So guys, here is the enclosure that they're gonna be going into. I have quite a few pieces of wood here for them to hide under some well-established dwarf white isopods to clean up after them. Anything larger would pose a risk to them when they are molting, so it's just the dwarf whites. Lots of moss. It's gonna be a pretty awesome home for them to live in. And then a water dish here. There is ventilation, cross ventilation along here and here, and that'll keep the humidity nice and even where it needs to be for these guys to thrive. They're really gonna love it. All right guys, so just a little disclaimer. We are working with venomous animals here, and as always, the recommendation is going to be to never handle. Yes, pendiness and heterometris are genera that people sometimes do handle as far as keeping scorpions go, but I'm always going to be an advocate of never handling venomous animals for the most part. Yeah, I've held heterometris, some Asian forest scorpion species when they were tiny little scorplings. Uh, frankly, I think that that decision was a mistake and as someone who is making educational videos on YouTube, I think that I should be really advocating not handling those types of animals and appreciating them from a safe distance. Please respect these animals and they can be very rewarding pets to keep, but they're not handleable, if that makes sense. You should just kind of enjoy them as is. A lot of them are not actually dangerous, but they should all sort of be treated with the same amount of respect because when it comes to venom, you really don't know how you're going to react. Uh, there's a slim chance that you might have an allergic reaction and that can prove to be very dangerous. Okay guys, so now we're getting into the species that demand a lot more respect. Here we have the Lycas tricarinatus, which is a species I believe that originates from India. It is a parthenogenic species, so this animal is female and will eventually produce a brood asexually, which is super cool. You can see her pectines kind of fanning out and moving. I'm not sure what she's up to there. But lately she has been really receptive to food again. I'm not sure what was going on for a while. She was just like not really interested in eating and she hadn't even molted, so you know how it can be. Let's try and feed her. I think we're gonna get a show from this animal. She's usually pretty entertaining. Wow. Holy mackerel, that was fast. I barely even saw what happened there, honestly. Oh. 
Oh. All right, well, I'm sure she'll start eating when she's ready. And look how small that little scorpion is. All right, guys, so the next animal we're looking at is my Hottentata Hottentata. We're going to be rehousing this female. It is also parthenogenic, so it reproduces asexually. Uh, but yes, we're going to now set up the substrate. So this is a sand, a little bit of the excavator clay. And for this one, we will use a small amount of soil as well. That should be good. So this is the enclosure the animal is going into. It's a small one. We're just going to go ahead and pour the soil mix in carefully. We don't want the substrate level too high for this animal. What I'm going to be placing in the enclosure here just as an accent is a piece of dragon stone. It just looks really cool and it doesn't allow the animal to get up to the top so we'll center it like that. Don't want them getting to the air vents and clinging. But yeah, that's that's basically it. So now we're going to gently move all this into a secure space for the transfer. Because we are not transferring a scorpion this hot into a container without it being in a secure space. Let's do that now. Okay, so now that the scorpion has been moved into a secure container, where if it gets out, it's contained still, we can safely look at rehousing her into her new home. Now, the only thing I am worried about, well, I'm not so worried because obviously I've been feeding her this whole time. The thing I hate and one of the main reasons I want her out of this enclosure is because it's so low and it puts us close to the animal. So off camera, I'm going to safely lift the lid because my safety is more important than letting you guys see me lift a lid on this enclosure. I need to be watching what I'm doing and see where the scorpion is at all times. So the lid is there. We're gonna go in here and gently lift the lid up, remove it, and then coming in here with the rubber ended tongs again, very minimal pressure. Up we go and boop, she's in. Just like that. That's how easy it is. Beautiful female hot and tada, hot and tada. Beautiful female hot and tada, hot and tada. Look at her. She looks great. She's proudly holding her tail up in the air to just. Let me know that if I get too close, she means business. But other than that, she looks fantastic in there. The thing I love about these little containers, the lid comes on like that, is that you have a nice little flap here. Just have to actually get it open. So you can just get in here, feed the animal, and not disturb them. Thank you very much, Mike, for giving me a few of these. And Mike got these from our buddy Bryant over at AE Exotics, based in Arizona. Awesome. She is now safely rehoused, and we can look at the other species next. All right, guys, so the next scorpions we're going to feed in this video are my Hottentata Jayakaris. Now, these are a very cool scorpion, but again, demands a lot of respect. You need to be careful. They too are going to be rehoused soon, but not in this video. So we'll do that in another video. So, without further ado, these are really, really nice scorpion, but don't let that calmness fool you. So, let's see if this boy is down for some food. He could be in pre-mold, I'm not actually too sure. Yeah, he is, doesn't look like he's interested in eating. But you can see what I mean when I say they're fast. He's a fast guy. Okay, let's try the female who's already freaking out because of the vibrations on the table. See how high that tail gets to the lid? This is why I don't like deli cups. Obviously they can't reach you or anything, but not the safest thing. You hungry, madam? I'm gonna take that as a no. The Jayakaris are not hungry, but at least you got to see them. Look at those 
epic scorpions that black tail and the way it kind of like caramelizes as it comes down into the body color I love these guys they're gorgeous sweet wait till you see who's next here are my Hottentata friends warning your eyes these are a beautiful dark species with nice um, yellow coloration on the legs and the pedipalps as you can see Let's see if there's any chance these animals are interested in feeding. The female has suddenly taken to food lately, so maybe she'll eat for us. Oh! Okay. Well then, finally. And that was actually in focus for once. Mademoiselle, qu'est-ce que tu nous as fait, hein? What have you done? That Jiminy just got wrecked. Sorry, Jiminy. Meanwhile, the Jayakaris are still freaking out over here, wondering what's going on. Just chill. You had your chance to eat and you blew it. Look at that animal. Enjoy. Okay, so now we have the male. He's already kind of being a bit spazzy. Here you go, buddy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ninja Jiminy. Holy mackerel. Oh, he's not interested. Okay. Alright guys, lids have gone off. These are some really tiny but beautiful scorpions. These are my Europlectes species Chubby. What a cute Latin name. Look at that little scorpion. And this is my female. Hey honey. So we're going to try and feed them now. I'm not sure if they'll eat, but let's see if they are interested in some food. I noticed I have a few tiny crickets and also some dermestid beetle larvae. So I'm going to try those first and see how they respond. I think they will work just fine actually. Okay. Oh. Oh my god, of all the times all the times to be out of focus. There we go. Nice. Okay, well, let's try feeding the female then. Alrighty, let's try the female now. Alright, well, it's safe to say that the female is not interested in eating right now, but that's okay. Thank you for gracing us with your presence, my lady. You're beautiful, Scorpion. Alright guys, so the next few enclosures we're making and that require the same sort of soil mix we've already made for the hot and tada, hot and tada are gonna be my old glabifrons here. I have a male, so cute and small. Look at them, run, 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 go, go, go. A female here, and then Europlectes fishy ride dark form. Now this is also a very beautiful member of Europlectes genus. Take a look at her. Woo, woo, look at that scorpion, man. Dang, son, that is a pretty girl. Let's go ahead and rehouse these animals. Look how tiny she is! Oh my gosh! So cute. Such a small little one. Beautiful. Okay. Let's get a lid on her. Like so. There you are. Go ahead. Go hide in the rocks. They usually like doing that, but yeah, there you go. She feels secure now. Back down. We're good. And voila. All right, guys. So these next ones are Devil's Striped Tail Scorpions. Um, their Latin name is a bit of a mouthful. It's Paravagovis spinigerus. These guys are real small. Hello. Oh, yeah. There we go. Really, really small. So what we're going to do here with this dripper is put two drops in each container to keep them hydrated. And then we're going to feed them some isopods. Uh, this bin got infested with... Uh, and that chair really sounds messed up. <laughs> this bin got infested with powder blue somehow. But there are still Nigris cristatus. I'm going to be feeding the powder blues to these guys. Because they're really fast. We're going to look for some small powder blue mankai. And have a look at some of these six little cuties. Just one drop like that. Now, let's see if we can get them to eat for us. So I actually got a Nigris Custodis. Oh, there we go. Got 
Good job. Very nice. have it thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed watching me rehouse a bunch of my scorpions as well as feeding a few of them it was cool right i've really grown to love those animals they're really fascinating yes they demand a lot of respect but they're pretty cool and you can really learn about their habits and the things they like doing little land lobster pinchy boys <laughs> but yeah if you guys enjoyed this video please feel free to subscribe down below and if you want to know when my next video is coming out, ding the notification bell so that you'll be notified when my next upload is live. Also, once again, I'm sorry for the delay, guys. I've been feeling a bit overwhelmed with life, I guess, uh, but I'm doing my best to be consistent with my uploads. I have family visiting next week. I'm really excited about that, and I'm already trying to get ahead so that I'll have a few videos ready to upload uh, during the time that they're staying because I know I'm not going to be able to do much filming and editing while they are here. Also, if you guys like, and there's a link below, feel free to follow me on Instagram. I'm actually pretty active there now. I post uh, ask me questions, lots of stories and posts on my animals. Sometimes it's inside scoops on things you don't already know about from the channel. So definitely check that out. And I'm also on Twitter. Yes, I'm doing the Twitter thing now. Uh, it's been interesting so far, having a lot of fun with it. It's, it's grown on me. It's a cool way to network with a lot of people. So if you're on Twitter, links are also down below for that. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you all in a new video again soon. Take care and have an amazing week.